Hi, and welcome to Feeding the Soul with Rafael. Today, I will be fixing a vegan cheesy potato soup. This is a very simple meal, but it's one of my family's favorites. And today, I'm kind of in a rush because I have to feed them and the time that they usually eat is gone, so I want to fix something really quick. Anyhow, we will also be having a special guest that will be joining us, one of my good friends, and so let's go. Pot of soup is on the stove, and we're about to meet our guests now. Hey, Mark, what's going on? What's going on, Marthel? Always good to see you, my friend. Same here, man. <laughs> man, so listen, I want to introduce you to um, my audience. Uh, this is Marvin Clark, and he is the CEO and founder of Change For You. And uh, this is a platform that is doing big things with a lot of amazing guests that he has on. I was privileged to be able to be on it not a few months ago, and we had a really good time. And what I like about you, Marvin, is, is that you practice what you preach because oh, I've seen some major changes in your life take place, and now you're giving back to others. So thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for having me. And let me just say real quickly, Martha, I think this is phenomenal. I think it's true to the core what we need to hear and the conversation that's necessary in everyone's life when it comes to feeding your soul. So I appreciate it. And you're looking good. Your kitchen looks awesome. I can't wait to one day taste your amazing meals because I've been <laughs> watching you. Well, well, you know, it's going to happen soon. It's going to happen soon. We're going to claim that. So, so Marvin, let's, you know, we go way back, right? Um, back to uh, school days. Your, your class was a grade below mine, and I knew you through church events and things of that nature. We will always be bumping into each other at different spots. But when I left, I went to a different high school, and then you came to the high school that I had just left. That's correct. But I still knew you from around the way, sort of like in the neighborhood. So, um, but that was way back in high school days, so, so we go back That's right. quite a ways. Yeah, yeah, some good decades. Yes, sir. And then, <laughs> and then of course, uh, we went to the same uh, university and we, we both pursued pastoral ministry. And so we were colleagues for the longest time. That's right. That's right. We served in the same conference and it was an amazing experience while we, had, while we were together, man. It was good. Yeah, good times, good times. So Definitely. here's another thing that we had in common. We both lost a ton of weight. Yes. Both yes. Lost, by the way. Now, I remember there was a particular um, event that we went to. It was a minister's retreat. It was in Alberta and they flew all the pastors out there. And I remember that we were in sort of like this big lodge area and we were there with a couple of other guys and we were sitting there talking about our weight. And at that time, like a roughly how, how many pounds were you? Around that time, I think I was probably about 540. Mercy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 540. And at that time, I believe that I was at one of my highest, which was, or my highest, which was around 325. Wow. And um, so talk about change for you. Like, whoa, yeah. like, look at us now. I, I, I am not too far from I've lost, losing 100 pounds. So I've lost about maybe 85 to 90 pounds wow. right now by this time. So where, where are you at right now? How many pounds have you lost? Yeah, yeah. Well, first, congratulations. I think that's awesome. And um, I'm happy, you know, sometimes when you're on this journey of losing weight, you get really excited for the 50, 60, 70, 80 mark 
Yep. And we want to shun that because we really want to go a little further. Right. And so that was my story and testimony. I'm actually now at 240. Woo. And so um, I dropped quite a bit, man, 300 pounds. Wow. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm still battling every day. It's a challenge <laughs> yep. because I like to share and teach and preach that reality that every That's day you got to make a, a, an intentional decision to eat right and uh, right. not eat wrong. <laughs> yeah, and it's, so, it, it's, it's being transparent that uh, when you're going on this journey, it's not an easy one. And I will, uh, I will agree with you that it is really not an easy journey. You know, I have, mm -hmm. I have lost a lot of weight, you know, going yeah. down as much as I have, but I have plateaued. Mm -hmm. And it's when you hit that plateau, you have to now refocus and revision. How are you going to approach this new set of the journey? And so I'm on phase two of that journey and it's going to require probably a whole lot more. So that's where wow. change for you and your uh, instruments that you give to others. That's when it really kicks in. Oh, I love it. I love it. And let me just say, I think it's so powerful um, that you're willing to even entertain the idea that there could potentially be a phase two. Because some people, when they plateau, they kind of say, man, I think this is it. And it's worth celebrating, right? It's worth staying there. Yeah. But the idea is you can keep going and there's more that we can do. Come on. So I love the fact that you're saying there's a phase two and sometimes a phase three. So yeah. I celebrate you for that mindset, sir. I <laughs> Thank do. You. Thank you. And you know what? We've had a few phone calls between each other as we shared kind of like where we're at. And I, and I really appreciate that because, you know, as we've connected, especially during this pandemic, in fact, this year, me and you reconnecting. Uh, because back there at that lodge, we made a promise to each other that, you know, we're going to be each other's accountability partner and we're going to have a little competition. And that never really transpired. It, it kind of like, you know, it kind of never happened. But we did it separately. Individually, we did. did our thing. And, and here we are. So now I think in phase two or phase three, wherever you're at, I think it's, it's, it's worth going back to that promise that we made and, mm. and, 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 and doing a part of this, uh, this together. I love it. I love it. And it's necessary. And let me just say for the record, Mathel, since you and I have connected just recently, you sparked me with a new motivation. I know some of the things you're doing to lose weight and I've tried it and I've been successful. So I want you to know right now, live and direct yeah. on this platform, <laughs> it works. It works. It works. It works. Thank and you. I too felt like I was plateauing. And uh, if I'm going to be honest with you, I was ready to throw in the towel and just enjoy where I was. But, you know, just in this recent conversation that you and I have been having for the past couple of weeks, and I'm taking on some of the things that you're teaching and sharing and exposing. Now I'm finally saying, all right, let me try this thing one more time. And so this might be phase four, five, six, as far as I'm concerned. There you go. Because sometimes you try and you lose, but you keep on trying. You know, there's an African proverb that says, if you go alone, you'll go faster. And mm. we tried that. And I think, I think we did pretty good, didn't we? But sure. then the proverb goes on to say, but if you go together, you go further. There you go. And so sometimes, sometimes it's worthwhile um, not going faster, but going mm -hmm. together so you can go further. So Most definitely. Most definitely. Right. All right. So, man, tell me something, man. What you got cooking today? So what I have on the stove here is I am going to be fixing up some vegan cheddar mm. potato soup, right? Mm. So what I'm dealing with here is, is you know, potatoes, you know, um, organic potatoes. And then I uh, season it with some flavors that are all vegan based and mm. it mimics that cheddar flavor. And I like to mm. use particular cheese, follow your heart cheese. That is a Parmesan cheese. And so... You know, I'm taking my audience through that today. And um, oh. one of my family's favorite, it really is delicious. Oh man, I can only imagine. Right now I wish I was literally your neighbor. That sounds so good. I can't <laughs> lie to you, Marthel. Cheddar cheese on top of that soup. Woo. Oh, potatoes. Oh, yeah. I can't it's a wait simple meal, time. but they, um, every time that I fix it, they love it. And so I really felt like I wanted to share it with my audience. It's comfort food. So I, I make sure I add a little extra love into this soup. <laughs> I like that. What, is that. what does that look like, some extra love? Man, the extra love is to make sure that I'm giving some special flavors to it. And, you know, it's like 
it's not compromising the health of it because it's vegan and things like that, but it gives um, a little bit more flavor. I, I tend to watch my sodium level. I tend to watch certain things like that. I don't add oils in it and things like that. Wow. In this soup, I, I, I let my fingers go a little bit with the seasonings. <laughs> just to make sure that, you know, my family is enjoying themselves and still having a very delicious meal. I love it. I love it. You know, it's so important when it comes to food that we don't compromise too many stuff because you want to enjoy your meal as well. And from what I'm hearing, oh, I know they're going to enjoy this once again. Right, right. So listen, what do you got cooking up? Because I know that you've got change for you. Big things are going on. I know that you've had um, a lot of really interesting guests on. Yeah, for sure. So this movement called Change For You Today, it pretty much is birthed from the idea of the importance of change. It doesn't matter who you are, what stage of life you're in. Everyone needs to have some positive change and growth. And so the idea of change for you today is change for you is an acronym. So it's C-H-A-N-G-E, the number four, and the letter U. And here uh, it is. I see you repping that shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I got a little bit of merch <laughs> as well with it. So, right, so change right. for you, the acronym is Choosing Honesty choosing. allows, yep, Choosing Honesty allows new growth every day for you. And so the idea is, you don't want to change for people. You don't want to change because of just a circumstance. You want to change for you. And when do you want to do it? You want to do it today. Let's not wait for tomorrow, next week, next month. The opportunity is here. Life is here. So let's choose to make that change today. Yeah. Wow. And I feel it. You know, one of the things I like about um, when I talk with you is, is that you come with some real good energy. And, mm. um, and I think that's important because there are some people that I know that will have knowledge and information. But when you're transferring knowledge and information, you also have to transfer energy that will motivate people. And what I love about you, Marvin, is you've always been a transformational person that sends energy to those that you're working with, those that you're talking to, your friends, you know, and it's just, it, that's very powerful. And that's, that, I think that's important for change. Anybody that knows about change knows that, like for instance, food, just trying to lose weight, you can have head knowledge that, you know, the food you're eating is not working, but if you don't have that energy, that positive energy that is motivating you every day to wake up and do it, you're going to eat the exact same way, even though you know it's not working for you. Man, listen, Martha, you're hitting this thing on the head because I wrote a book recently called Your Change, Your Choice. Okay. And in that book, I address the issue of what is it that makes you wake up every morning and do what you do? There has to be more than just a purpose. There has to be more than just a plan. What is that fire starting kick that gets you up to put your two foot on the ground and say, guess what? I'm gonna make some kind of change, transformation choice today that's gonna better me. And if you're a family person, your family, if you got a house, your home, your future, whatever it is. And so for me, I realized changing every day is not an option. Mm. It's something I gotta do. Every day, I got to make a change in my life. Is there something I used to do maybe later on in the afternoon, but I know it's not beneficial in the afternoon? Guess what? It's time to do it in the morning. Yeah. If there's something that I used to do and I don't do it no more, guess what? It's time to change and go back to doing it. So we all need to make some adjustments in life. And the second we get too comfortable is when we get caught by surprise. Mm -hmm. And we find ourselves doing things, acting a certain way. For me, eating stuff, and practicing stuff that's not beneficial to my future or my purpose or the plan that I think God has for me. Wow. So, so you're, you're able to apply the principles clearly to your life, did amazing things in transforming your life. Is there anything else in your life that gives testimony to that? And when you meet somebody else, how do you transfer these principles to apply to something completely different? Like maybe somebody has something that is that does not relate to the necessarily food or something you've gone through, what are, what are some of the steps or how, how do you make that message transferable? Yeah, e excellent question. Excellent question, Murthel. For me, what I found out is that this principle that I apply to food, I'm also able to apply it to that person that might be on an addiction situation 
where they're struggling with some other things. Someone else that maybe has a struggle with trying to find that partner in life or a young person trying to find their dreams or goals and their wishes and wants. The idea is, is that you apply the simple principle and it goes further in the book that I wrote, but it's a simple principle saying choosing honestly. Mm. You know, we're not very honest with ourselves. Mm. Matter of fact, if I may be so bold, my friend Murthel, we're really good at not just lying to other people, but lying to ourselves. Wow. And what I love is even when it comes to your cooking, you're telling us right off the bat, I let my fingers do a little extra sprinkling in the seasoning. <laughs> you know, that's so important, right? Because if that idea is so true and it's necessary for someone that's tasting the food to know, oh, you're going to get some flavor, okay? You might not have some other things, but you're going to get some flavor. Right. And when you eat my food, you're going to say to yourself, I don't miss those other things. Right. And so it's choosing <laughs> honesty. And when you do that, it in itself allows new growth. So you'll see some things you never saw before. Once you choose to be honest with your situation, your circumstance, and your story. Wow. So, so where do I get this? I know that I get the, at, from getting your book, but you also have change for you that is on, uh, is it Instagram or is it Instagram live or Facebook? Where, where do we go to, to get that program? Yeah, so for sure. So change for you today is all about positive change. And so what I did is I recently did a spinoff for the past year, I believe that's called turn up Tuesdays, real simple. Turn up Tuesday. And it's a, a, a verbatimly word that just pretty much talks about excitement, right? To right. be overjoyed. And so Turn Up Tuesday is where I interview a lot of different guests from different walks of lives that has different stories. Mm -hmm. And they pretty much share their experience to why it is that they're positive. Why it is that they're making positive changes. How they've overcome some troubles and trials in their lives. And so it's really, really powerful. We've been able to hear from what some would consider the rich and famous, and then some that are considered the marginalized or unspoken of. And so men, women, boys, girls, they all get a chance to share and talk about that powerful change. So it's Turn Up Tuesday. It's on um, my Instagram platform, which is called Marvin G. Clark. Of course, you can also catch some of my information books, workbooks on www.changeforyoutoday.com. So I've been able to benefit from listening to a few of those. I remember listening to one, Devon Franklin. Oh, yes. Uh, and I was just like, wow, you know, Marvin, you're, you're, you're really impacting people. And when you impact people on the level that you do, you draw a lot of positive people and a lot of big people to you. How are you able to get someone like a, a producer who's doing change in the lives of many others? You know, wasn't he responsible for um, the pursuit of happiness? I think they that's correct. Pursuit of happiness. So, you know, that's correct. stories about the changes that can happen in the lives of others, like that gentleman in the pursuit of happiness. How are you able to land interviews like that? Yeah. You know, as you mentioned, I think the energy and the transparency uh, that I present I think it's something that is what we all need. You know, a lot of us are really good of acting, acting out a part and pretending about who we are. But I try to let people know, listen, this is who I am. I struggle like you struggle. And I've been blessed to actually pastor him. So I was his pastor in Oakland, California, some decades ago before he was okay. the great Devon Franklin producer and so forth and so on. Yeah, right. so I, I pastored him and his family, awesome people. Um, and so in that relationship, we had a friendship and um, we were able to just kind of blossom over the years. And when he heard about the movement change for you today, he said, I need to be a part of it ah. because it's his story, too. And so in the book, Your Change, Your Choice, he actually was the one that forwarded it. So um, wow. I was privileged to have him on there. And we got some up and coming things with him and his wife, Megan and some other people. So we're really excited about the near future with Change For You today. Wow, that is great thing. So I know that you are um, in the Florida area and you're, yeah. you're kind of making some, some moves in the community, making sure that you're not only tapping into the superstars, you know, like right. Major Good and, and Devon Franklin, but like you said, just, just the average people, just ordinary people 
making sure that their lives are impacted by the change that they so desperately need. So tell me a little bit about these um, community initiatives. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, right now we're in this uh, pandemic and it's unfortunate. It's been going on now for over a year. And so there's a lot of people dealing with mental health issues. There's a lot of people dealing with the lack of food and the lack of just having someone to listen. And so I often go into the communities, whether it's Pompano Beach, Florida, or further down into Miami, Dade County, and we try to address some of these issues. So we've been giving out food. We also have been able to reach out to the schools and offer some encouragement there. And the plan and dream, Merthel, that I think is gonna be soon accomplished is that I wanna actually have a day called a change for you today. Nice. Day, right? Nice. And so um, it's a day where we wanna celebrate every and anyone who has made a positive change in their life. I think so many people um, are really forgotten about the changes they've made, about the choices they made. And they don't have a lot of people around them. They don't have a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of likes, you know, but what they've done is they've made a choice to just wake up every day, put their foot on the ground and say, I'm going to do my part. Just like how what you're doing right now with this changing of the menu and right. getting us excited about eating and not just eating, but being a vegan. I mean, I'm, I'm just really stoked about that. And I promise you this live on this platform. Yeah. One day I shall get there. I promise <laughs> you. Well, you got it sooner than later. You got to you got to first conceptualize it before you do it, and you know, mm. for any change, a change has to start here. Any 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 change that you're gonna do, it's not gonna be long lasting until it starts here. And so, for right. me, it's been a journey, but the change started here first. You know, every every change that we have starts in the mind, and um, and from there, you're you after you conceptualize it, you're able to to see it happening and being mm. fruition in your life. So. You know, that's, that's, that's just my testimony of, of how changes have happened in my life. So that's right. That's right. I love it, man. I love it. And I'm so excited about this thing. I can't wait. And I'm serious. I got to one day soon taste what's in that pot behind you because it looks good. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's going to happen. We're going to claim it. We're going to conceptualize it. And we're going to make sure that that happens, that that takes place. So Marvin, um, just give us um, a, a rundown of some of the places where people can get your content that they can go just in, in a nutshell. We'll, we'll make sure that we put it on the screen so that if they, they want a change in their life, Marvin has been one of the individuals that I have been blessed to know. And his story is very inspirational. He tells his story in some of his podcasts and in some of his books that goes even beyond weight loss. It was a, there was a time period in Marvin's life where um, Marvin went through rebellion. I went through my rebellious phases. And he shares these poignant, powerful stories of how he went from that life to becoming a minister and to making a change in other people's lives in a very positive direction. I, I don't want to, I don't want to give any spoilers, but there's a little bit of um, gang life activity uh, that, that, that potentially, you know, he can share with you. How do you move from you know, not really valuing the lives of others to valuing and showing value to everyone. And so it's a really great story. I don't, I really don't want to spoil it, but um, wh where do we go to get all of these, um, these, these tools that you have for us, Marvin? Yeah, for sure. And, and thank you, man. And once again, I just appreciate, you know, this opportunity just to express what it is that I feel that I've been somewhat called to do. Um, but you can find it on my website, which is once again, www.changeforyoutoday.com. And then on Instagram, you can do Marvin G. Clark, or you can also jump on Change For You Today. And that's on Instagram. And I guarantee you, if you jump on my website, I have a free workbook for you that I guarantee will be life changing. I like and, that. Um, yeah, and for sure. And let me just say real quickly, if anybody that is watching this today, if you jump on my Instagram and you DM me, direct message me, and you say, I watched you on the Merthel show about feeding your soul, I will send you a free copy of my book, okay? Wow. First 10 people, so it's out there. I'm trying to bless somebody because I really do believe this is a blessing. See, that's what it's all about. Um, one, of the things I, one of the things I learned is, is that 
individuals that are going places in life do not focus on what they can receive, but they focus on what, mm. how they can give. And um, I remember listening to a particular very successful lady. She pointed to people like Jeff Bezos and she pointed to other billionaires. She said, if you look at billionaires, usually they, have, they became billionaires because they're making millionaires or they're making mm -hmm. people wealthy. Those that wow. are moving people out of poverty into wealth. Meaning that that saying that says that it's better to give than to receive. Well, the reason why it's better to give than to receive is because in the process of giving, you are already starting that energy of receiving. You know, who doesn't want to support someone that is trying to help them to be a better person, trying to help them get rich? You know, uh, YouTube um, has helped so many individuals become successful, including our family. And mm -hmm. now they're one of the biggest platforms that there is transformational platforms. So when you change other people's lives, you become a change agent and now it comes right back to you. So Marvin, you know, you're a stand-up guy. I love the fact that you're here giving value to the show by giving your contribution. And then you're going to give all these freebies to uh, people that are watching. I would like to say, please support my boy, Marvin. Um, and if you want a change in your life, I'm telling you, you get this book, you tap, you, uh, tap into change for you, and you will begin to see some great things happen in your life. Thank you, Marvin, so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. I'm about to go get to this cooking right now because it looks like we're almost done. But before we go, Marvin, I would love for you to just share with us quickly, you know, how do you feed your soul? I, I love food. I love to cook for others. I love to feed others and, and put all that love into it. You know, there's a, there's a thing about food that it unites people together and in every culture, in every single culture. Um, how do you feed your soul? and um, or feed the souls of others? For sure, excellent question. And uh, I gotta tell you, Martel, for me, I am so passionate about people. I think we don't listen enough. And so I often uh, do a therapy uh, session for many people in counseling. I often find people who seem to be forgotten, marginalized, disconnected, and I like to hear their story. And then I wanna remind them that they too have a purpose. So I feed my soul by literally listening to others, other people sharing their soul and their story. And I believe when we come together, like the good book says, iron sharpens iron. Yes. And then the future is always a promising one. So I appreciate you coming on. And, um, and we're going we're gonna to set that time. We're going to set that time where you're going to get some of this good cooking. I love it. Matter of fact, let me just say real quickly. I smell it and it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. You take care, man. All right, man. Take care, brother. Looks like the food is ready. I'd like to show you the final results. Thank you for joining me in the Onyx Kitchen, where we tell the story, feed the soul, make them laugh, heal the heart. I hope that you are blessed. I'm about to go and feed my family now. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Oh,